So we are here downtown Columbia with Opening Doors Ministries as they have partnered up with Keeping It Real. Now we believe in investing in the community, investing in people, and really helping to empower them and provide opportunities across the city. Now the vision with Keeping It Real Ministries is to really engage and connect with the homeless people and the homeless community, especially in the holiday seasons and times where they don't have family, relatives, and people to really lean on and put that tender love and care in. So today, Opening Doors Ministries has come down here to prepare 10 turkeys. We have 10 turkeys that they put together. We've prepped them in the process of cutting them and getting ready for distribution so that when we arrive on site at the, the drop-off spot, everything's ready to go. We can simply set up the tables, get everything ready, and we'll feed up to 200 heads today. So pretty cool opportunity. Danielle, you want to just give us a little bit of background with your part in this role and how you've been really helping to spearhead the vision? Well, we've been partnering. Jason and I have been working together for four years doing different outreach projects throughout the community. Um, when he started his ministry with Opening Doors, I partnered with him to continue doing that with him because it's been such a beautiful opportunity. And for us to be able to go out and serve those who normally don't get quite the love that we want to share. So it's, it's a little different than just putting some turkey on a plate. It's more meeting with them, praying with them, loving on them, letting them know that they're seen, that we know they're there, and that, that, that we're here for them. So that's been the best part of the opportunity. I love it. And being in a position like this over the years, do you feel like yourself and your personal growth has been impacted as oh, well? Tremendously, tremendously. And getting to partner with other people, other volunteers, you get to hear their stories that brought them alongside of us and truly pull it all together. And it's a group effort because Dupree letting us use the kitchen, um, them helping us prepare and provide the resources there. because There's so many resources, so many different people that come together to do this. The relationships are phenomenal. They're people that we count on all the time. And, yeah. And that we give back to as well. So we get to serve them, they get to serve us. And it's just, it, it's beautiful to see that many people come together and really pull together. And it's, it's cool to see behind the scenes as well, like being the hands and the feet, how many different people and organizations are at play on the back end, like you see the finished product yeah. where you show up, people are getting there, they get their food, they're getting right. fed, you know, gives you a chance to really minister to them. But you don't see the interweavings in the back end where people are orchestrating this stuff. Like some of these turkeys, people are waking up at like four or five o'clock this morning yes. to prepare it, right? Yes. Um, we had the staff from Dupree actually prepared the turkeys for us. And then we had the fraternity guys come in and actually help cut it up and serve it. And I was here to serve with them and get them started because I know the kitchen here at Dupree's because I've catered with them and I've been working with them for two years. So for all of us to be able to come together and do this, you're looking at five or six different organizations just to make this happen. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that's phenomenal. I love it's it. It's really good. I love it. What are you guys getting out of today so far? Young Buck? Clean hands. Clean hands. <laughs> He's cleaning up the mess. Nah, but we're excited. It really is just about coming together, helping to fill in the gaps, being God's hands and feet, um, and coming together as a team, right? Teamwork makes the dream work, and together as a community, we can help provide opportunities for those who That's need it. So, love it. We would love to get on site and show you guys a little bit on the ground, but with some of the different weavings and people on site were unable to capture any video footage on the ground with some of the partner organizations. Um, but really cool stuff. I encourage each and every one of you guys to just volunteer, find somewhere to serve this hol holiday season because the secret to living really is giving. And the more that you give back to others, it helps you to grow as well. So excited to see the vision continue to grow. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Love it. Danielle, how did you get thrown into this madness? <laughs> okay, so Jason and I started serving together four years ago with Elevation. I did everything for EHQ, which was our volunteer 
headquarters basically at Elevation Church. So I fed all the volunteers and all the kids at the church every Sunday. And that turned into all of participating in any food event there was, just because of budget, keeping up with the accountant in me. So it was like, hey, Danielle. Uh, it's like, oh, we're having food. Call Danielle. She can do that. So that's basically how I got started. Um, I'm the organized one. Jason is the dreamer who says, I want to do this. And I just took it to make it reality. Um, but we started, like I said, four years ago. And I, uh, they called me and said, hey, I need you to cook for 300 people. And my little kitchen couldn't accommodate that. Your kitchen at your house. At my house could not accommodate that. And I had um, I'd been working a Love Week event. And Dupree, who owns the kitchen here, offered to come do it out of the food truck. So he brings the food truck up there, and I get everybody lined out and settled. I gotta go because I gotta cook for my people at church. And um, so he's like, how are you gonna cook spaghetti for 300 people? And I said, one pot at a time. And he said, okay, if I got you a kitchen, would it be, make it easier on you? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. So I met him at Adventure they offered me that kitchen to use and that's turned into me using all of the other resources and two years ago I started working events the November or October after the Love Week in July I called Dupree and I said hey you got any events on your catering side and he's like yes we're always looking for people so I started working for him doing that and um, I was catering I was not catering I was actually serving you know, so I was, we have an event and I'm picking everything up and getting everybody what they need. You know, just doing what you do. And that has turned into all of this. And us being able to use whatever facility we want. Now I do his bookkeeping and accounting. And, it's incredible. And I do the catering. A couple of weeks we're going to have some events. I'll be working with them. And so when Jason calls and says, hey, I need to cook for 300 people, I can say, okay, what day? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Take wow. that dream and make it a reality. Yeah, so you really are kind of like the support system. You're the, the foundation that helps to make sure that everything that gets talked about, the vision that's cast, actually comes into fruition. Absolutely. Right? That is my strong suit, whereas he is the absolute, I want to do this. We work as a great team. It allows me to, to be that organized person. That's where I thrive is keeping everything together I'm in the background I'm making the plans I'm moving the people I'm the supplies all of that that's where I thrive and I love that position to just be the support and kind of like the back of the house support nobody really knows you're there but you're the one that keeps it moving yeah but I don't have the vision he has you know when he casts the vision and tries to do these big events that's not something I dream of well at all yeah, I mean, I think you look at it and really there, there's many different personalities, Absolutely. right? But there's really, there's like two. There's the visionary that heads always in the clouds, yes. looking down at 30,000 square feet, really figuring out where we're going in the future, three, four, five, seven moves down the line. Right. But there's no execution. I shouldn't say no execution, but there's not the organization to really develop the system, to put it in place right. in order to get those things done. And that's where you have the organizer, yeah. right? Right. It really is cool to see those come together. Because I'm the yeah. same way. I'm a, being a, me and Jason, we're, we're just cloud heads. Right. right? We're always up here. Right. Um, but yeah, but, we're well, cloud heads. And it's great to actually be. And you are for him. I mean, you, you truly pull that in for me. And I, I've done it for so long with Jason that it's just second nature for me to say, what are we doing? And him say it. We make it happen. And you snap that's your fingers it. and it happens. Yeah, that's what he thinks. Like <laughs> I run myself ragged for 10 weeks yeah. all together and say, yeah. He's like, oh, this is great. That sounds exactly like our marriage. It's of course it's great. I'm going to do this. Yeah. And I'm like, let's go. Of course right. it's great. You the day before, it's like, hey, the day before, we're doing an event. Let's yeah. go. He can do it. Hold up. I don't like when he does it that way, but we've done it that way. We've 
changed everything midstream. I mean, we're loading the car and it's like, mm, no. I think that's and that's like, that's okay. the best that's the best time for God to show up, right? Because right? you're just like stepping out, and then all of a sudden you get this divine hunch or inspiration, yeah. And all of a sudden, hold on, flip Ab a U-turn. Absolutely. And and there have been so many times that we run into hiccups that took us to a place that we were able to depend on other people that normally we wouldn't have. Um, so we're getting ready to do an event and it's not quite, we don't quite have enough people or somebody bailed or something like that. And then you turn around and there's four people standing there that have never served before and we're like, hey, you want to come help us? And we bring in four more people to serve others that normally would not have stepped out of their comfort zone to do it. Yeah. And we've seen that happen so many times over the course of this. It's been crazy. So the core focus with opening doors, you have local impact yes. and global missions, yes. right? So the local impact is really just filling in the gaps right where we're at, yes. finding the needs, right? right. And then facilitating right. a way to help so solve that, right? And then global missions on the other side is finding strategic partners, yes. right? Where we can- Where you can partner up with those and do the, make the most impact bigger outreach. I love it, love yeah. it. Well, it's good stuff. I'm excited to get out here and make yeah, it happen. It's time to get it done. Let's go.